Ants are remarkable creatures, renowned for their complex social structures and efficient survival strategies, particularly in relation to food storage for winter. In regions with harsh winters, ants cannot actively forage for food during the colder months because the temperatures are too low for their metabolism to function properly, and there is little available food in their environment. Thus, they must gather and store enough food during the warmer months to sustain the colony through the winter. This task is a highly organized and strategic process, involving cooperation, division of labor, and careful planning by the entire colony. The storage of food begins with foraging during spring, summer, and early fall. In most ant species, the worker ants are responsible for leaving the nest and searching for food. They use a variety of methods to find food, depending on the species. Some species are solitary foragers, where individual ants will search for food on their own and bring it back to the nest. Others, however, rely on cooperative foraging where a few ants will discover a food source, and then signal the rest of the colony to help gather and transport the food back to the nest. Ants communicate using pheromones, which are chemical signals they release to leave a trail back to the food source. This trail allows other ants to follow the path and help collect food more efficiently. Once a food source has been identified, ants will continue foraging until the food is depleted. Ants are opportunistic feeders, meaning they will collect any type of food they can find, including seeds, fruit, insects, and other organic material. Some species, such as harvester ants, specialize in collecting seeds, which are high in nutrients and can be stored for long periods without spoiling. Other species may hunt live prey or scavenge for dead insects and other animals. Some ants even farm food sources, such as aphids, which they protect in exchange for the sweet honeydew the aphids produce. The way ants store food for winter can vary greatly depending on the species and the environment they live in. Some ants store food directly in their nests, while others employ more specialized methods. For example, certain species of ants are known as harvester ants because they gather seeds and store them in underground granaries. These ants carefully organize and maintain their seed stores, sometimes even removing any seeds that begin to spoil to prevent contamination of the entire store. They may also husk the seeds before storing them to prevent them from sprouting and to make them easier to digest when needed. Other ants, such as leafcutter ants, use a different strategy. Leafcutter ants collect leaves, which they bring back to their nests and use as a substrate to cultivate fungus. The ants feed on the fungus, which is their primary food source. The fungus is a renewable resource, meaning the ants can continue to harvest it even during the winter months when foraging outside the nest is impossible. This method is highly efficient, as it allows the ants to turn an edible plant material into a nutritious food source. In some ant species, the workers themselves act as living storage vessels. In these species, known as honeypot ants, certain members of the colony are designated as repletes. These ants gorge themselves on food, particularly sugary liquids, and store it in their expandable abdomens. When food is scarce, such as during the winter, the repletes regurgitate the stored food to feed the rest of the colony. This method allows the ants to store food in a way that is protected from spoilage and predators, as it is kept safely inside the bodies of the repletes. Ants also practice a form of food preservation to ensure that their stores last through the winter. Some species will dry or dehydrate food to prevent it from spoiling, while others may chemically treat their food with antimicrobial substances to protect it from mold and bacteria. These preservation techniques are particularly important for species that store large amounts of food in their nests, as a single spoiled item could contaminate the entire food supply and jeopardize the survival of the colony. As winter approaches, the ants begin to seal off their nests to protect themselves from the cold. They will block the entrances with soil or other materials to keep out the cold air and maintain a stable temperature inside the nest.
The nest itself is typically located underground or in a protected area, such as inside a log or under a rock, where the temperature remains relatively stable throughout the winter. Some ant species will also produce a special substance called glycerol, which acts as a natural antifreeze and helps prevent their bodies from freezing in extremely cold temperatures. During the winter, the colony enters a state of dormancy. The queen and most of the workers will reduce their activity levels and conserve energy by staying inside the nest and relying on the stored food. However, they do not hibernate in the same way that some animals do. Instead, they remain semi-active, periodically feeding on the stored food to maintain their energy levels. The repletes or food stores are accessed as needed to sustain the colony throughout the winter months. The survival of the colony during the winter depends on how well the ants prepare during the warmer months. If the colony has stored enough food, it will survive the winter and emerge in the spring ready to resume foraging and reproduction. If, however, the food stores are insufficient, the colony may not survive until spring. This makes the food collection and storage process a critical aspect of ant survival. Overall, the strategies ants use to store food for winter are varied and highly specialized. Whether they are collecting seeds, cultivating fungus, or using their own bodies as storage vessels, ants demonstrate a level of organization and foresight that is truly remarkable in the animal kingdom. Their ability to gather, store, and preserve food allows them to thrive in a wide range of environments, from the hot deserts to the cold temperate forests, and ensures the survival of their colonies even in the face of challenging conditions. This process of food storage and survival is one of the many reasons ants have been able to successfully inhabit nearly every corner of the globe and continue to be one of the most successful groups of insects on the planet. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.